Hello, I'm Arusa, and I'll be reviewing Kit Fan's poetry collection, The In Cloud Reader. Kit Fan arrived in York, England, from Hong Kong at the age of 21, and has done a plethora of work, which has won awards, including short stories, poetry, and translation. This collection, as many have mentioned, utilizes form brilliantly. There's a poem that's a play, has disappearing text, rests in the moon, and there are lovely visual ways in which the poetry is performed here. I'm Arusa Malik and I'll be um, reviewing the shortlisted poem The In Cloud Reader by Kit Fan. Um, the collection has 38 poems, 36 of which are titled into three sections. The first being Once Upon a Cloud, the second being um, Hong Kong China and the third being Broken Nose Jizo. Um, the other two poems kind of bracket, um, envelop these three sections of the first ones like Cumul Cumulonimbus and the last one being Hokkaido. And I enjoy how um, Kit fans kind of structured it in a way which we begin like right up in the clouds, even this technical name of a cloud where, you know, maybe countries and people and things don't exist, except for nature sometimes. And then the last poem being Hokkaido, which is where culture and people firmly exist. And yet Kit Fan kind of brings our attention to how these things, you know, but like interact and how, you know, Bring the clouds down right to us and how Hokkaido can potentially be ripe in the clouds and mingle. The two poems I'll be speaking about are um, uh, Gluck, which comes from the first section, Once Upon a Cloud. And I'll be talking about Mother's Inc, which comes from Hong Kong, China. Um, I had an instinct towards Gluck because it's a poem that looks exactly like a play, if it isn't a play. Um, the poem instructs us or that the characters are um, sun, Shade, You, Sick Man, Another Man, and Book. Um, the characters of Sun and Shade are like primarily, if not completely speaking, in the play. Um, kind of arguing over should they swallow the sick man? Kind of acting as these metaphors for metaphorical death almost. Um, with Sun being more aggressive and outright swallowing a man as um, within the play. And Shade a bit more cautious and a bit more unsure especially when they mention that the sick man is reading Gluck and both the poem and the verb um, seem to denote some danger to Shade, but not to Sun, not quite. I really enjoy how um, Kit Fan quite effectively has brought the poem into the play or the play into the poem, whichever was first. Um, yeah, as a playwright myself, I was like immediately drawn to this poem. Um, it's really densely written. I think the way that sometimes poems are, it's not kind of, there's no, the context is kind of elucidated to be at a Malton Community Hospital. Um, but yeah, this was a really interesting poem that kind of caught my eye. Uh, the other poem, uh, Mother's Inc. has a similarly omniscient tone with the first line, born I was and wasn't. Ink is like a, a primary kind of feature here. Um, it's what the newborn and the there is a newborn and a mother is what the newborn feeds on instead of milk per se. And uh, there are some really interesting lines of, she knew I wanted ink greedily. She fed it to me, dark diluted with water. That when it touched a page, spread. It seems to be like that the mother is both feeding and bathing a baby in ink. And this ink is full of like, it's like kind of has like a clotted, um, dense um, feel of being food. Um, and yet it seems to be leaching the source of food. Um, it kind of makes me think of the question, the quote right at the beginning of um, denoting how before there was ink, there was this idea of reproduction, um, something that kind of um, runs right through all the poems. Uh, but yeah, 